Six Dark Psychology Tricks to Watch Out For While psychology in general studies the mind, emotions, and behavior, dark psychology focuses on the use of manipulation tactics to persuade, deceive, and control others. You may not be aware of it, but there are many dark psychology tactics that you run into every day. They are designed to take advantage of your weaknesses and manipulate you into doing things you wouldn't normally do. In this video, we explore the science of dark psychology and how it affects our behavior and our lives. We look at some of the most common manipulation tactics people use to influence and control others, to make it easier to recognize when someone might be using them on you. Let's get right to it. Number 1. Reverse Psychology Reverse psychology can be a powerful tool for getting people to do things they don't want to do, or even things they know they shouldn't do. It's not always easy to spot reverse psychology in action. It's when someone says something that seems to oppose their real intention. The person may even say it in an overly serious tone, as if to convey that they are not actually trying to get you to do whatever it is they want you to do. This technique is used in many situations, but it's most commonly found in parenting, where parents employ reverse psychology as part of their disciplinary procedures. It's also used by teachers and managers who want their students or employees to perform better. Number 2. Love Bombing Love bombing is a manipulation tactic in which someone showers another person with affection and attention in order to manipulate them into doing what they want. When someone is love bombing, they use this tactic to get the other person emotionally dependent on them. As a result, the victim feels indebted and is less likely to question the manipulator's motives or behaviors later on. It's most commonly used in romantic relationships and friendships, but it can happen in any situation where one person feels like they need the other person to make them happy or feel good about themselves. It's easy to get swept up in this kind of attention. After all, we all want people to notice us, but it can be harmful in the long run. Number 3. Persuasion and Authority Persuasion involves using convincing arguments or appeals in order to change someone's opinion or behavior. Politicians tend to use persuasive arguments to convince people to vote for them. Big brands often use celebrity endorsements as a form of persuasion as well. By partnering with a well-known celebrity, a company can create a sense of trust and credibility in their product. The celebrity's public image also creates a sense of desirability and exclusivity, making people more likely to purchase the product. Authority, on the other hand, involves using a position of power or influence to manipulate someone into doing something. For example, a manager may use their authority to make an employee do something they don't want to do. They might even threaten to fire the employee if they do not comply. Number 4. Emotional Manipulation Emotional manipulation refers to the use of deception and the exploitation of emotions as a way to get someone to do something they wouldn't normally do. The strategy is to make the person feel guilty, sad, ashamed, or afraid in order to get them to comply. For example, the manipulator plays the victim to get sympathy and gain favor, or they may scare and manipulate others into a desired action or belief by exaggerating, distorting, or fabricating facts. They might even use emotional blackmail. Another form of emotional manipulation is making someone feel like they're obligated to do something. It's not too hard to fall victim to this type of manipulation, because it can be subtle. But once you know what signs to look for, it will be easier to avoid falling for it. Number 5. Choice Restrictions Choice restriction is a tactic in which someone limits another's choices in order to manipulate them into doing what they want. The idea behind this tactic is that if someone has fewer options, it's easier to convince them to pick one. For example, a salesperson may only offer two options for a car that meets your budget and requirements. This way it's easier for them to help you decide, as opposed to overwhelming you with, say, six options to choose from. In other situations, this manipulation tactic can be more dangerous, like withholding information or resources to limit someone's decision-making ability, or even setting up a situation where someone has to choose between two equally unappealing options. It's important to recognize this tactic because it can be used in many different situations and by people who don't necessarily come across as manipulative. Number 6. Gaslighting Gaslighting is a manipulation tactic in which someone makes you question your sanity or reality. It is often used to make you doubt your own thoughts, feelings, or memories 
in order to make you more susceptible to the manipulator's desires. It can happen in many different scenarios. For example, it might be used by an abusive spouse who tries to convince their partner that their thoughts and feelings aren't valid. It can also happen within an organization when a boss's actions make employees question whether they are being treated fairly. Gaslighting can be overt or subtle. It depends on the manipulator's style and the victim's ability to recognize what's happening. Dark psychology is a powerful tool that can give someone control over you if you're not careful. By knowing what kind of tactics to look out for, you can better understand your own feelings and behavior and make decisions that are right for you. And while it's important to be aware of these techniques, it's also important not to get caught in the trap of always thinking that someone's trying to manipulate you. I hope that this video has given you a better understanding of these frequently used manipulation tactics so that you can recognize them in action and resist their negative influence. What do you think? Have you ever caught yourself falling for one of these dark psychology tricks? Share your thoughts in comments below. If you found this video useful, give it a thumbs up and share with your friends so we can keep making them. For more videos like this, hit the subscribe button and remember to click on the notification bell. Also, be sure to check out our other videos as well. Thanks for watching.